thank you, Charlotte Lefever, for playing Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling, and Be Still My Soul, The Lord is on My Side. I am Chaplain Ann Weaver. The last song speaks about bearing patiently the cross of grief or pain. And I want to focus our attention this morning on this attribute of patience. Every one of us needs to practice patience in small ways, such as waiting in line, or in large ways, such as enduring physical or emotional pain. I don't know anyone who doesn't practice patience. I want to read a passage from James that speaks about waiting patiently. These first century believers were asked to wait patiently for the coming of the Lord. They believed with earnestness that in their lifetime, Jesus would return and release them from their suffering. James encouraged them to hold on, to wait, to keep the faith, and to endure. The section heading in my Bible is entitled, Courageous Patience. Listen to James 5, verses 7 through 11 from the Common English Bible. Therefore, brothers and sisters, you must be patient as you wait for the coming of the Lord. Consider the farmer who waits patiently for the coming of rain in the fall and spring, looking forward to the precious fruit of the earth. You also must wait patiently, strengthening your resolve, because the coming of the Lord is near. Don't complain about each other, brothers and sisters, so that you won't be judged. Look, the judge is standing at the door. Brothers and sisters, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of patient resolve and steadfastness. Look at how we honor those who have practiced endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Job, and you have seen what the Lord has accomplished. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Well, how do we develop this courageous patience that James promoted. I suggest that persistence and repetition and yieldedness are crucial. From the time we are babies until we die, we have daily opportunities to practice courageous patience. Last evening, the pastoral services team went to Kaufman's Orchards with 10 residents to patiently walk through the labyrinth. Likely you saw this opportunity promoted on a WLH slide, and John will be showing a picture of that labyrinth on the screen. If you're not familiar with a labyrinth, allow me to describe it. As early as the year 325 AD, Christians have built prayer labyrinths. 
There is a narrow path that you walk from the outside of the circle into the center of the circle. However, it is not a straight line. The path winds around the circle until you reach the center. Then you turn around and walk the narrow path from the center to the outside of the circle. As you slowly walk step by step, you might choose to pray for yourself, your loved ones, for the needs of the world. Or you might choose to repeat the same scripture over and over, like, thy will be done, or I am the way, the truth, and the life. Or you simply quiet your mind and patiently allow the Holy Spirit to bring a word to you. I find that this labyrinth walking and praying takes a lot of patience for me. It would be so much faster if I just ignored the path and took the most direct route to the center. I could do it in 10 seconds. However, if I take the designated path, it winds around and it takes me 15 to 30 minutes to reach the center. If I really slow down and listen to the voice of Jesus while I walk. And last evening, as I walked, I prayed for each member of my family, and the Spirit comforted me. I received the word, do not be afraid, for I am with you. That gracious word resupplied my need for patience. Another significant moment happened when a fellow labyrinth walker and I came alongside each other for five to ten seconds before we parted again. No words were exchanged, not even a glance. Yet I was reminded that we have sisters and brothers in Christ who walk beside us on this journey of faith. Again, my well of courageous patience was filled back up. Patience is a virtue, they say. It helps us to slow down, to wait, to persist, to repeat, to hope, to trust, to lean on the Lord. We can become obsessed with instant results and quick fixes to problems. Patience is a gift to our bodies, our minds, our spirits, to learn about ourselves, our neighbors, and our God. Most of us do not have a prayer labyrinth nearby, but the principles of the labyrinth are available to us in our own chairs where we pray. Patiently pray. Imagine yourself on this path of life with its twists and turns. Walk slowly. Pray deliberately. Listen intently. Live openly. Welcome surprises. Do not be afraid, for the Lord is near. Let us pray. O oh God, you travel with us on this journey of life with all its joys and sorrows 
with all its immediate blessings and these times of patiently waiting for a word from you, for consolation from you, for healing or hope from you. I pray that today and the days to come, we will open ourselves to more patience and for learning about you while we patiently and courageously wait for a word to come. And may we walk alongside one another, not fixing problems, but being present, being a loving and gracious presence. In your name we pray, amen. And now Charlotte will close our time with Rejoice, the Lord is King, and one more selection. <laughs> 